Number one gives us right triangle A, B, C, and then it has the altitude of C, D drawn to the hypotenuse. And remember, an altitude is perpendicular to the side that it's going to. So we see that right angle. Select all triangles that must be similar to triangle A, B, C. Now, remember when we're writing um, the order of the letters uh, when we're saying two triangles are similar, that they matter. So this one is going A, B, C for this blue triangle. And then you would kind of close off here. So I'm just going to leave it like this. Because when I'm thinking about this, when I look at this big blue triangle here, AB is the hypotenuse, BC is the longer of the two legs. So when I'm going to compare this to the other triangles, I'm going to be making sure that it's going in that order, that we're going to be going, um, we're going to be tracing the hypotenuse to the long leg and then finishing up on the short leg. So, and Hopefully I'll be able to show you that on the on the computer here. But all right, so triangle ABC um, similar to triangle ABC. Yes, anything is similar to itself by a scale factor of one. So we're good there. Um, then this next one says triangle ACD. So we're gonna go ACD. And if we watch this, we're going hypotenuse to long leg, since this would be the triangle. So hypotenuse to long leg that's following the same order as the blue one and so the this one would be um similar since we're following the same order so a c d hypotenuse to long leg next one um b c d so we need to start at b go to c and then d so from this triangle here if we're looking at this triangle we went um, B, C, D, which is the hypotenuse to the shorter leg. So this one is not going to be the correct order of segments. So that one is not going to be similar. Um, next one, B, D, C. So B, D, C would be this triangle. So then we can see that we did the long leg and then the short leg. So this is not going in the same order because we would need to do hypotenuse to long leg. So long leg to short leg, not the correct order. Triangle CAD. So C, A, and then D. So in this one, we went hypotenuse and then short leg, finishing up on the long leg. So that's not correct. We need hypotenuse to long leg. And then um, last problem or last triangle says triangle C, B, D. And so that would be this triangle. And we did go hypotenuse to the longer of the two legs. So this one would be true. Number two, in the right triangle, ABC, we've got the altitude drawn down to the hypotenuse. So CD here is our altitude. And then we want to find the value of H, knowing that AD is 12 and BD is 3. So we know um, that when we take kind of these two triangles separately here, so we've got this triangle, that's the long leg and the short leg in this purple triangle and then um, in this green triangle we've got cd as our long leg and then bd as our short leg and so we can kind of set up a proportion here so if we take the long leg in the purple divided by the short leg that's going to equal the long leg in the green triangle which is h divided by the short leg, which is three, and then we can cross multiply and solve this proportion. So we've got three times 12, which is 36, and h times h, which is h squared. Square root both sides, and we get that six equals h. Number three in this triangle ABC, which is not a right triangle, 
Okay, so triangle A, um, B, C is not a right triangle. We do have the altitude drawn to the side. Um, the length of AB is C, so this long side down here is C. Which of the following statements must be true? So now we don't necessarily know that we have similar triangles because we don't have a right triangle here. So in order for all of these tri triangles to be similar, the altitude has to be drawn from a right angle. So we don't know that these three different triangles are similar. Therefore, we don't know anything about their angles being the same. So angle A, C, B, we do not know if that's the same as angle B here. Um, <clears throat> this green triangle here has side lengths of A, B, and C, but we would not know that we could do Pythagorean theorem here, um, or Pythagorean theorem wouldn't work here because it's not a right triangle. Um, triangle A, D, C, so let me get that, so triangle A, DC is similar to um, triangle ACB, and we're not going to know this because we don't have the right triangle to begin with, um, but let's draw it anyway. So ACB, okay, again, um, nothing to tell us that those are going to be similar since we don't have two matching angles and we're not drawn from a right triangle. And then finally, um, the area of the green triangle equals h, which is this hype, um, this altitude here, okay, equals h times um, c divided by 2. That is true because h, the altitude is your height, and the c is your base. And we can see that those meet to form a right angle, and area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So this one is true. Number four, quadrilateral ABC is similar to A prime, B prime, C prime. Write two equations that could be used um, to solve for missing lengths. There's going to be tons of equations that would be correct here. Um, so let me just set up a couple proportions. So I could, if I knew um, AB, I could do AB over A prime, B prime, and then set that up with any other corresponding sides. So BC over B prime, C prime. This could have been CD over C prime, D prime. These could be flipped over. So I could have like A prime, D prime over AD equals B prime, C prime over BC. You could do um, original. So I could do like AB over um, AD. And then that would equal the prime version of those or the image version of those. So you could do a ton of different proportions. I would argue you can also say that the um, new length or the image is equal to the original times the scale factor. So make sure you know what that means, but scale factor. Or you could also find the original length by taking your image length divided by the scale factor. So I'd argue you could even do something like that, but there's a lot, a lot, a lot of different answers that would work here. Number five, segment A prime B is parallel to segment AB. This means that we've got the proportional sides and we've got two similar triangles. So this one wants to know what is the length of um, a prime B, or sorry, A prime A, and also what is the length of B prime B. So these are just portions of the sides, but we don't have either of them, so we're not going to be able to say what the, what the factor is from 12 to this side or 6 to this side right now. So we're going to want to look at the actual um, triangles here to get the scale factor, and so let me um, draw in these actual um, similar triangles for a second. So we've got this large triangle here. 
similar to um, this smaller triangle here. So let's just solve for those large green lengths and then we'll be able to figure out um, the missing parts of them. So if we take a look here, we see that we have um, kind of the base of each of these or this parallel line part of each of these. And so if we look at what the scale factor is here, the scale factor is 20 divided by eight, which is 2.5. So now we know if we take um, CB prime times the scale factor, so times that 2.5, um, then we'll be able to get the length of BC. So 6 times 2.5 is 15. So I know that this whole side here is 15. So then if I want this little piece here, I would just do 15 minus 6 and get 9 for this part. So this piece here is 9, so that's the answer to part B. Um, and then if we do a similar idea here, we know this A prime C is 12. So we can take a look to get this. And so we can do 12 um, times 2.5, which gives us 30. So 30 for that whole thing. And so then this piece here is just going to be 30 minus the 12 we've already used. So A, A prime is going to be 18. All right, number six gives us two vertical lines, BC and DE. And since they're both vertical, we know that they're parallel to each other. So we're splitting, we're getting proportional side splits and we're getting proportional triangles. So we want to find the length of AD in this case. So we want this whole length here. So we're kind of looking at this larger triangle then if we want the whole length of AD versus this smaller triangle here. Um, so we see that we have the 2 and the 5. So we can look at the scale factor that takes 2 to 5. And so 2 times 2.5 gives us 5. You can also figure that out by taking the 5 divided by 2. So then we could take this 3 to get this side length of AD. So 3 times 2.5 is going to give us 7.5 for AD. And then that's what we wanted was the length of AD. So 7.5. All right, then number seven says triangle DEF um, is formed by connecting the midpoints of the sides of the triangle. When that happens, when we connect all the midpoints, all these little triangles here are congruent to each other just um, from well, a rotation of this inner one and then translation. So kind of the ones that are not, not highlighted in green are translations of each other. And then this um, middle one is a rotation. Um, so when we're looking at if they're congruent, we got to make sure that we look at the order in which they name the sides. So this first one says triangle B, D, E. So here's the order that we went in, B, D, E, and then it would close up here. But I'm just going to not do that so we can compare to the next one. So then triangle F, C, E. E. And we can see that it didn't go in the same order since it went to this small angle first. So this is not true. The two triangles are congruent, but we have to write the order of the letters the same. So um, BDE is not congruent to FCE. If we went in the same order, it would be. So if we had done BDE to EFC, that would be fine but the order that they did it, not true. Next one, they still did B, D, E, and now they went F, D, A. So again, not in the correct order since that went to that small angle first. So this is not true either. They're not matching up the corresponding parts correctly. 
Um, all right, then C says that BD is congruent to FE, and that is true. The length of BC, oops, the length of BC is equal to eight. That is true because BE is equal to FD. So this one is four and EC is also equal to FD. So this is four. So BC is equal to eight. And if BC is equal to eight, then it can't be equal to six.